Hello students, welcome to my channel called as a learning leader. Today we are going to discuss about the control statements. So what are control statements? The statements which controls the flow of execution is called as a control statements. So in C language we are having three types of control statements. First one is called as the decision making statements, looping statements and the last one is a jump statements. So in that first one, decision making statements. The statements which helps us to take decisions are called as a decision making statements. So here the decision will be in the form of a true or false, that is one or either zero. There are two types of decision making statements. First one is a unconditional decision making statements. Second one is a unconditional decision making statements. So under conditional decision making statements, the examples are if statement, switch statement and ternary operator. Under unconditional decision making statements, the example are go to statement. So we are going to study first the if statements. Statement consists of four examples. First one is a simple if statement, else if statement, nested if else statement and the last one is a if else ladder. So we can also call it as a else if ladder also. Now let us see one by one in detail along with the syntax, flowchart and some examples. So first let us start with a simple if statement. See for the simple if statement the syntax tells that if test expression and followed with the statements. So here when we need to use a simple if statement, whenever we want to take any one decision, then we need to use a simple if statement. Or still if I want to say in a simple words means, for any problem, if there is only one solution, then we need to use a simple if statement. So what does this if statement will do? The if statement will check with the truthness of the particular condition. If the condition has been got satisfied, then the body of the if statement will be executed. Now the question comes that where is the body? See the particular if statement from here to here, it is considered as a body of a if statement. So uh, if is a keyword which is followed with a text expression. The text expression should consist of a particular relational operator. So every if statement should have a particular body starting with the floor braces and end with the floor braces. Here there is a point to be get kept in the mind. If statement should not be ended with a semicolon. So this is the particular syntax of the simple if statement. So in this inside the if statement we can have a one statement or we can have multiple number of statements. Suppose if the condition is particular value is body of the if statement will be get executed else it will not be get executed. So we will see the flowchart for this. See the flowchart will easy helps you to understand it very easily. So the particular program will be executing from top to bottom. So it will enter from here. It will test with the particular expression. Suppose if the expression has been got satisfied that means it has become true. It will enter into the body of the if statement and then the remaining part of the program will be executed and it comes outside of the program. This is the first case. There is an another case that if the condition has not been got satisfied directly it comes out of the particular if statement remaining part of the program will be get executed. Is it clear in this particular syntax as well as in the flowchart what does a simple if statement will do? Simple if statement will be checking only with the condition and if that condition is satisfied then only the body of the if statement will be executed. So simple if statement should be used only when we have one solution for one particular problem. So now let us see with let me take one example. Suppose let me take one number variable called as a number and if I give the value for that variable as a 10. Now I want to check whether the 10 is a negative number or not. So what is the logic behind this is that so for this first we need to give if number is less than 0. So what is the value of a number? The value of a number is 10 and we are checking whether the 10 is less than 0. 
so if it is less than zero what we need to do we need to print it so we need to have a body for the if statement and we need to write a print f the number is negative so this is what the particular model by chance now if we take this if we take this the 10 is less than 0 it is where the condition is false so we are not going to work with this particular body this is what the usage of a simple if statement now what i do is that i just cut this particular statement and i will insert into a main function so let me complete this part into number is equals to 10 into number equals to 10 so after that let me delete this and run the program so we are not going to get any of the output so what happens here for that i will write one more statement printf program terminate so i will end it so how what will be the value of output of this program i get the program as program got terminated why i get program got terminated because the number value what i given the 10 which is less than zero it the condition is false here so when the condition is not been got satisfied then what happens the body of the if statement this is called the body the selected what I have been selected here the three lines this is called the body of the if statement so this particular body will not execute and directly it will execute the particular event. so let me run the program once again and we see the output so i will be getting output as program terminated understood why i got program terminated now what i do is that i will take this as minus 10 now earlier it was a positive value now i made it as a negative value so what we can do is that now minus 10 is less than 0 the condition is getting satisfied so i will be getting output called as a number is negative along after that even i will get the output as program terminated so let me compile and see the output see the number is negative as well as program got terminated now we will see one more example so we will check with the equality option so let me take int age is equals to 25 and i want to check if age is equals to 25 print f you have selected so i'm just printing one message so based on the condition so print f thank you and i'm going to close so this is a particular program so what i'm doing is that i'm taking one integer variable called as a age and assigned a value as a 25 i'm checking with the if condition so this age is equals to 25 is considered as a test condition if a age is equals to 25 if the condition gets satisfied then only we will get the output as you have selected so i make it as you have been selected suppose if age value is not equals to 25 then the statement which is present inside the body of if statement will not be displayed so now what we do is that we will execute the program and we will see so you see here you have been selected and thank you so what is happening means now you may be having a question why i am getting a thank you statement even though we have been written outside the if statement see what is the if statement works like means if the condition of the if statement is true then the body of the if statement will be executed and the statements which are below the if statement will also be executed this is what we have seen in the flowchart if you remember suppose if the condition of the if statement doesn't execute or doesn't get satisfied then also the next statements which we call it as immediate statements those will be get executed here so here the thank you is considered as an immediate state so this is the reason why we get the output as you have been selected as well as a thank you suppose if i change a value of this age to 27 then the i will be getting output as only as a thank you
we will check it out see thank you has been got a display now this is an example we have been seen with the numbers now let us try with the strings so i will take one character and i take one array character array c o u n t r the country and I give the size as a 20 here country and whose size is equals to 20 so here i am going to give the value i n d i a india and i am going to press enter now i want to check whether i have given an entry country as a india or not so if c o u n t r y is equals to i n d i a i n d i a india print you have see so selected country is equals to percentage s comma country i hope you people are remembering this uh, printf uh, syntax as well as the scanf statement syntax see here i am going to get the message you have selected a country is equals to percentages why i am taking as a percentages because we have taken it as a character array the size of this character array is a 20 and what is the value of this uh, array called as a country the value is uh, india suppose if the given country is also india and i am checking for india i should get the statement as you have been selected so sorry you have selected country is india so now here i will write it print terminated so now the same code what i have done here we will see the output first we will not get the expected output see we got it as a terminated now you may be thinking that why we got it as a terminated see the value i have given as a india similarly the code is if you check with the previous example if age is equals to 25 similarly like our example i have given here if country equals to india see what is the one thing here we need to remember is that when i'm checking with the equality with the numbers that is different when i'm checking with the characters the concept is a different so when you are checking with the characters i can't use a word like a double equals so what i need to do is that i'm going to write strcmp which is a built-in function so i'm going to remove this syntax so in the string functions i'll be telling you what is the syntax of this particular strcmp so this country is considered as a string one and this is a particular value with what i want to check if string compare india is equals to zero so now let us see whether we get output or not so you have been got you have selected country is india so what i do is that i just insert slash and so that we can see the output very clearly So just modified the statement here. So what is the output we got here? Your selected country is equals to India, and we got it as a terminator. See now here you need to keep it in the mind majorly that if I'm if it is a number, if I'm checking with a number, example age is equals to twenty five, we can use this equality operator double equals we can use the same thing if i'm checking with the character data type then it is not going to work i need to use strcmp a built-in function this is a one method where we can check with the equality now why we have given it as a zero because string compare is a one built-in function it always gives a value either as a zero or it gives as a one or it gives it as a minus one string compare will always give numerical value as an output so what is this zero indicates if i get a zero as an output for the string compare then it indicates the value is equals the content of the particular values are equal if i get other than zero we consider as not equal that is the reason why we got the output as a your selected country equals to india and we got option as a terminator i hope you have been got cleared with the concepts if any particular questions are there please put it in a comment section those doubts i will clarify it in the upcoming videos thank you